Greetings. I am a dragon alchemist, and allow me to entertain you. I am once again playing Fallout 4, where I had a slight change of plans. Glad I stick. Nice. Now, I had previously wanted to go to Diamond City after helping out that settlement with the gunner's attack. One of the things that I did was I found this little beauty, which I quickly renamed. It is a shotgun that can do energy damage. Did a little reworking of it. Now, while I like the Criticals one, it's a little situational. You have to be a little close to use it at full effectiveness, and at that range, you may as well just keep shooting it. Otherwise, if you just make someone go berserk right next to you, they're just going to keep attacking you. Whereas with this, I have a little leeway. Now, normally there's some ghouls that spawn here. Oh! Grenade out! Oh, ow. You're really messing up my mojo here, zombies, ghouls. Ah. Damage my armor a bit. I'm gonna need some steel. Oh, oh, oh! Blowing up! Blowing up! Well, maybe I should have thrown the grenade first. Anyways, back to my original thoughts. I don't know why there's a toy truck here. I had intended to go straight to Diamond City, but while I was doing a little settlement crafting, I got up enough experience points to get to level 27. And among one of the things I wanted to level up, Topping off intelligence. Now I can get much more experience. And one of the things that you can get at the Boston Public Library happens to be the intelligence bobblehead. You can get your intelligence rating, your natural intelligence rating, up beyond 10. If you happen to pick up the bobblehead, after you hit that normally maximum ceiling. Training. Sweet. So that is why I am here instead of Diamond City. Just a small detour. I'll be heading to Diamond City after uh, claiming the bobblehead. Just take a moment to survey. Tektron, but are you hostile? You are not hostile, and there is a trap. What is it? Set Attention! Off. Security breach near subway entrance. Visitors and employees are advised to seek cover and remain calm. What's the tactic here? Is it the turrets? Oh, it's the turrets. So yeah, let's not uh, aggravate the security here. Now, let's see if I have any overdue books that I want to get rid of. No? Alright, let's cut. spend some tokens. How many do I have? 94! Oh yeah, I can buy a few things. 50 tokens? Easy. Yes. Permanently inflict plus two limb damage. It builds up. It builds up. Now... The main thing I should be concerned about is the level of gunfire I'm hearing. And from the sounds of it, it's coming from super mutants and the security of this library. And I have to say, for a library, this place is decked out. The tektrons and turrets. Now, I know this place is a bobblehead, but I don't know if that accounts for this much. Oh! 
Reflex. Oh. My reflex is always to switch my sidearm. Is that the last of it? I'm gonna need to heal up. Junkie's machete. Not particularly useful to someone like me. Yeah, like I said, this shotgun is gonna do wonders for me, at least in terms of resource uh, oh. gathering. What's that? Where are you? Hello, buddy. Oh, you're too close. Close the door. Nick, don't go out there. I was about to say there's a turret just beyond that window. You are dead. That's what you are. I love this shotgun. Apparently I had a little killing zone here. Oh. Oh, boy! Just keep adding to the body count, people. I don't... Yeah, they finally took out that turret across the way. Duct tape. Okay, there's a lower area I can go to. Alright, just reload. Reload. Switch over to my assault rifle. I still got plenty of ammo for this thing. And I'm starting to run out of shotgun shells again. That shotgun is saving me a lot of trouble in close range combat. I prefer not to get into close range combat if I can help it. But in tight corridors like this, it can't be helped. You just have to deal with close encounters at this stage. Little late for that, Nick. And hiding wasn't my intention. Oh, hello. Back up, Nick. Back up. Nick. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Where'd you go? I keep my peripherals up. There we are. I don't think we're That's one head shot! That's a miss somehow. Luckily he's not smart enough to realize. Poking your head up around a corner with a sniper that has line of sight exactly on that position is a stupid, stupid thing. Alright, I'll get to looting this place after I secure the area. That's what a grenade's for. <laughs> Mini guns. Displace. Did good. Where did you pick that up? Neutralized. Visitors may now come and go as they please. All employees, please return to work. So, they're that little super mutant menace around here. That's great. Wow, there were a lot of Protectrons around here.
This place was a war zone. What is around here? Besides the bobblehead that was worth so much mechanical... Well... Protectorant. Uh. I am just glad I did not, not come through the front door. That could have been bad. Just look at this. This is a natural kill zone. I'm, I'm rather surprised that the super mutants managed to push through at all. Ooh, more fusion cores. I'd say this trip was worth it besides getting the bobblehead. Let's see what's inside this little terminal. Toy car, nothing worth taking. Okay, I can finally get around to looting this place. Though that depends on if there's anything actually worth looting besides the bobblehead that I hear is here. How much weight do I have? Not uh, about 80. So, yeah, I can take my time and grab whatever I want. When was the last time someone came through here? I have no idea. Take the pencil, I need the lead. Once you actually need lead for making ammunition, it becomes a precious resource. And that's besides using it in construction projects. Well, let's see what's inside the ter terminal now. Sand 2. So, can't be make. Might be 10. That's it. There we go. Well, let's see what's on the turret. Only one unit, and I bet it's deactivated. Yep. That's not gonna help me. But the Protectrons... Any... Nope. No units present. So that's pretty much a dead terminal to me. That said, while I did take care of the super mutants. I don't know if the library security is going to regard me as a threat as well. I mean, it did turn off the moment the super mutants were killed. But what does it regard me as? That's the question. Still looking around for pencils. Pencil lead. Pencil lead. Take all that. We have another terminal. It is not model. Can not be lying. It may be lying. It is not lying. Can I trips? It might be noise. There we go. How many turrets are in this terminal? Only one, and I bet it's the one that got destroyed outside. Yep. That's disappointing. What about here? Absent as well. Another dead terminal. Burnt book, overdue book. I can turn it in immediately. How does a book get overdue actually inside the library? That's weird. Not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, though. That's free tokens for me. Pins, or chess boards. Why does a library need so many chess boards? That's also another thing. I've seen a lot of chess boards, but no chess pieces. What is up with that? Oh, that's all. The one right around. Ooh, light bulb. Needed for the copper. 
played for the circuitry. All in all, this has been a rather resourceful run for me. Aside from the damage to the armor, and that can be easily repaired with steel. My, ex my experience gain is going to be very high in a moment. Alright, let's see if this is going to cause me some issues. Okay, the machine guns. Where's the terminal? There has to be a terminal for these things. Approach and identify. Oh no, 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 not good. No good. Come on, Vitectron, go down already! This was bad. This was a bad idea. Oh, come on. It was right around the corner, wasn't it? Oh, well. Oh, well. Galen? Hey, toss anything you can't haul my way. You're a gunner. It's not all a loss. It's not all a loss. I still get to loot these things now. Got more steel to repair my armor, and the only things I had to use were the bullets, really. And I kind of got a slight kickback from the turrets, not enough to account for everything I had to use, unfortunately. Hmm, that does remind me, what was the state of having internet back in these, uh, well, not back. Technically, it was 2077 when this all went down. So, I have no idea if there was anything close to an internet during those days in this universe. Sure, they had networking, but did they have widespread networking? That's the question. More duct tape. I still got room. I still have plenty of room. Don't have to go to a settlement yet to drop it all off. And anything expensive I can find, I'm going to be uh, selling off in Diamond City. So it all works out. I am going to read that terminal in a second. Nice. And this is stuff I can sell off. There's a lot of computer terminals around here. Right, curator, let's see what we have here. Gibbons log. May the 3rd. It's getting more and more difficult, but we were able to get a hold of a few more books today. While I was scanning them in, I overheard Dalen talk, uh, telling Shelby that we should get, uh, just compress the archives now and get out of here. I thought about smacking him upside his fucking head, but... I don't blame him for wanting to cut and run. It's been tough, and we've lost so many. But it's all worth it, right? I mean, if we don't protect the knowledge and uh, if we don't protect uh, the knowledge stored on these machines, who will? Given's log, March the twenty-first. I told them they could leave whenever they wanted to. I'm not going to force them to stay. If they don't believe in what we're doing in here, then better uh, that it's better if they just get out. Of our way. If we don't collect everything, then what's the point? April 18th. We've lost a few more, including Shelby. She will be missed, but no, but I know she wouldn't have had it any other way. What we're doing here is important. There are still a lot of books left. This knowledge will help 
all future generations. It's up to us to keep pressing on. Oh, that, that, that was May. My mistake. July the 5th. No, that's August. I, I keep messing up the dates. I can't keep the bots repaired anymore. The mutants are hitting us at least once a day. Unless we get help, it's only a matter of time before they wipe us out completely. This may be the last log I write. If it is, all I ask is that the person reading this does the right thing. Help us protect the information stored at the computers in the data room. The key to the storage room is behind this terminal. There are some supplies you may find useful there. Please, only use them if you are going to further our cause. Well, the thing is... I can just take the information with me, can I? Curator Givens. Yeah, you had your last stand here, buddy. I keep saying that. Why do I keep saying that? Or we do books. Scissors and a dinner fork, more steel. Looks like the last time I got a checkup. And there is the elusive intelligence bobblehead. Now, to prove what I was saying earlier, my intelligence is currently 10. After I pick up this intelligence bobblehead, there we go. It takes the smartest individual to realize that there's always more to learn. My intelligence has permanently increased by one. It is now standing at 11. And that does have an effect. Going over the considered maximum natural gain will have an effect. Bottle can't mine. Plasma. Nice, stuff boy. Shotgun. Take the shotgun to sell. Take the ammunition. They really love their shotguns around here. Oh, and I'm over the limit. Nick, where are you, Nick? There you are. Hey. The plan is for you to hold still while I load you up with junk. Here's what I've got. And an automatic laser pistol. Where did you get that? Oh, right. I load you up. Right. After I drop everything off on you. Actually, I'm going to take some steel to uh, do some repairs if I run across a power armor station. But aside from that, everything else... I'm gonna take the laser pistol, rifle, this, and this. That I'm gonna sell. Yeah, sorry about that, Givens, but... You said uh, there's common sense, and then there's preserving knowledge for the future. Unless... You've got a way to deal with the... Constant attacks. There was no hope here. No hope. You gotta have a little pragmatism. A tiny little bit. What you did was you were trying to do your best. The issue was your best can't save everything. If you can't save everything, then by the end of the day, you have saved nothing. You went all or nothing, and you just got the nothing end of the stick. An unfortunate th deal, but you gotta realize your situations. You should've just taken what you could, left, and maybe, maybe, you could've come back another day. You did not have to... By leaving, you do not sacrifice everything. It could have been just as likely that he could have just... That the information that you were after would have stayed put. It w might not have been lost. I mean, if you think about it, this stuff stayed here 
for 200 odd years, why would it move without you? Beyond that point. Unless you had pertinent information that says that this information would have been lost if you did not act upon it immediately. Then I can see your situation. But as it stands, there was no indication that was the case. That mentality did not suit you well. Well, that was my two cents on the matter. A valiant effort, but rather misguided. Another overdue book. A lot of overdue books inside the library proper. Odd. Okay, I'm gonna turn in all these, these books and then head straight to Diamond City. I don't think there's anything else I want from this terminal, though. Let's see, yeah, there are no more magazines I wanted. Everything else is pretty much junk. Junk I could collect somewhere else. Silver. Still got a tiny bit of room. Okay, take the lunchbox. Still can't make the bottle uh, cap mines that I want myself yet, but it's still good to store it up. It has no weight, so there's no harm in picking it up and taking it with you. Now, do I want to fast travel to Diamond City, or shall I just walk? It is a short distance away, and I wouldn't mind seeing a random encounter along said way. I think I may just walk there. Sure, it'll drain my fusion core a little bit, but then again, I did put in the mod that slows the drain. Slows the drain to a more reasonable rate, at least for me. So I might as well just put it to use. I don't know what's with the long load time there. Oh well. Diamond City is... This way? Yeah, it's this way. Along with a... What is that? That is Police Precinct 8. I suppose I could stop by there as well. Technically, I'm in Diamond City security zone. I saw the patrol pass by here. And are you Mr. Patrol? Yes, you are. Oh, hello. Let's not have any of you around. Any more rad roaches? If there are, bring out the knife. Or the 10 millimeter. Oh, why did that. that. why did that not hit? I did not know how many bullets that would take. Apparently, one's all I need. I have a lot of 10 millimeter to spare. Oh, did not want the red roach meat. Hmm, another leather item. Again, not what I'm looking for, but it's good to take it. Irradiated blood. Irradiated blood. Jail cell door, check the traps. Eddie Winter, holotape number eight. 
Message to Rodrigo Paloma. Okay, my friend. I thought about it, and I've reached a decision on the Fallon's job. Your cut is exactly what you deserve. Zero dollars. Zilch. You heard me right. You get nothing. Yes, you cracked the safe. And yes, we got the diamond. But you also tripped the alarm. Mackie got pinched. That's entirely your fault. Now, when he gets out, Mackie's gonna want your head on a platter. I'm gonna give him your share instead. I see you're getting off easy. Eddie Winter, signing off. Okay, that was rather interesting. Case 046-IR. Julian's inciting a riot law. Let's see. Evidence log entry Waju00. Object 1 photo taken at sea depicting Mr. Julian standing atop overturned vehicle. Status in Precinct 8 Evidence Cabinet A1. Evidence log entry Waju01. Object 1 deface sports jersey with text We Beat New York in Precinct 8 Evidence Cabinet A1. Ah, baseball. Eddie Winter holotapes. Holotape number four, evidence lockup. Natick police. Eddie Winter holotape 07. In evidence, South Boston police. Officer Doyle, point of contact. Eddie Winter, I guess, number eight. We just got that. How public toxic. Public intoxication. Two bottles of boot and rally bourbon, empty, and preset eight evidence cabinet A02. Evidence log entry number two, I guess. Set, one set of clothes taken from Mr. Howe. Status deemed health hazard, transferred to trash. Unger larceny logs. Object one, purse, including ID, belonging to Mrs. Gwen Upton Quincy. Status returned to Mrs. Upton. Object, one wallet, including credit card, belonging to Mr. Jeffrey Knox. So they had credit cards. In Precinct 8 Evidence Cabinet C04. One wallet, including ID, belonging to Officer Aaron White for the police uh, precinct number 8. Status returned to Officer White. We had a klepto in the building. Alright, so I don't know what those holotapes were about, but that's going to be interesting to read about later. Alright, I am going to keep going on my way to Diamond City. I heard something. Alright, so when I come back, I will be inside Diamond City proper, I'll have sold off a lot of junk, I'll have finished doing whatever it needs to be done and then we're going to see Piper about this whole finding my son business. Until then, I hope I have entertained you. Farewell. And just make sure there's no more dogs, no dogs, no dogs. Oh, there's the dogs. Okay, okay. Doggies? Doggies, I'm just coming by. No doggies. Bad doggies! I don't want to do this. Okay, okay. So, logging off may have to wait for a few seconds while my bullets. No, 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 no. No, no this was not what I intended. This was not what I intended. Mr. Diamond City. Okay. Okay. Whoops. So, um... About that. We got no problems? Hey there. Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. Alright, we got no problems. Right, I'm going to log off now. Well, not log off. I'm going to end the episode now before I get into any more trouble. Thank you, and farewell.